Here we have a complete uh, multi-channel holiday light control system that takes a little different spin on the way things have currently done. wanted to show you what we have. This is a uh, Lightorama Mini Director MP3 device. We have a SD card that has a program in it. Insert that in there. The uh, RS-45 cable comes out of there, goes into a transverter device and this wire, the only wire, then goes to all of the lights that you're going to see here. You see that cable runs on the floor, comes over to this location here, and we have one cable that goes to the arches here, this one goes to a star, and the arch has 56 channels on it. See if I can zoom in on this. Okay. And then the cable continues along there and goes to a star which has 16 channels of it. 16 channels of control. So, uh, we have two stars, turn the lights on here, and 16 channels each, and we have an arch, which has approximately, well not approximately, but exactly, 56 channels on it. Turn out some more lights here. And all of that is connected here's another star there is simply connected with one wire. You're looking at the entire system the programs or the sequencing was written with the LOR software, the Lightorama software and the uh, system is compatible with that protocol and is able to control strings of lights that have four colors of LED. We have red white, green, and blue. They're all on one string and so those strings were wrapped around the uh, uh, arch so there's only really one string of lights per. This particular arch has uh, 14 sections on it and each string again is four channels producing uh, 56 channels of control per arch. So it significantly reduces the uh, wire that's required to hook a system up like this and yeah, it's all very low power LED and can all be driven. I had a uh, system that had 50,000 lights and it all it drew less than 2 amps of current or averaging 2 amps of current. 4 amps may be peak but averaging around 2 figuring most of the lights are uh, off most of the time. So anyway, uh, very energy efficient, a very flexible system. So right now we're running the LOR protocol. Uh, one of the other features we have here is the ability to uh, run DMX and I'll show you how that goes. We have here uh, a DMX uh, testing device. I'll turn it on and we can unplug our signal source from that we plug it into the DMX transmitter and we now, I'll turn the lights back off we now have the ability to uh, by modulating the uh, controller here turn them all off I can turn one channel at a time on and vary the intensities as necessary. So it's uh, it does both DMX as well as uh, LOR. Let me shut them all off here. And I can turn them on individually. Turn them off individually with the little test device. Anyway, uh, it's a cool system. It's uh, designed to reduce the cabling and 
whatnot that's necessary to uh, put together such systems. So, uh, in a nutshell, that's what we have.